Činjenico grade mili, uvijek si mom srcu milo, bolje ti te bola na mora, niko nije tamo bio. Bolje ti te bola na mora, niko nije tamo bio.
excited to be here with you guys to celebrate your big day tomorrow. It's been a long time coming and I know that tomorrow is going to be amazing and so much fun. Um, where do I think you guys should go on your one year anniversary? It's a tough choice, but I know you've traveled to quite a few places together, even one of your first dates being a trip up to the Northeast, which is crazy. Um, but I think Italy could be next on the list. I know you both enjoy some wine, some hillside country, so I feel like that'll be a nice romantic getaway for the one year. Hey Rachel, hey Harris. So where do we think you should go on your first anniversary trip? I think Hawaii. Tahlequah. <laughs> Where do you think Rachel and Harris should go on their one year anniversary trip? The Milky Way for the Northern Lights. That's romantic. For Rachel and Harris's anniversary trip, I think they should go somewhere tropical. I think that you guys should go back to Boston. And this is the place where you first took your out of state trip together and so I think that it would be really special to go back to celebrate your one year anniversary. David Klein here. Uh, where should y'all go for your first anniversary slash honeymoon? I would say somewhere in the Caribbean or Colombia. Um, kind of biased though I'm married to a Colombian. I think Harris and Rachel should go explore Eastern Europe. It'll be a great tribute to see Harris's background and his heritage or go to where Harris proposed. I know that was a really special place for them. I would say uh, Italy. So I'll see you guys in Italy. Love y'all. Harris, it all started in Rowdy Khaki, and the rest is history. Looking forward to more wild adventures down the road. When I broke my foot for the first time, um, I came down to Fort Worth and we all went out to dinner and then we decided to go to Billy Bob's after for some live music. And when you're on a scooter and in a boot, you obviously can't two-step, but that did not stop Harris from making sure that I enjoyed myself and I had a great time. He drug me out on the dance floor, made me take my scooter for a spin, and just made sure that I enjoyed myself. Because he's a brother in law And a good dance partner. <laughs> what I love most about Harris is that he's a great brother, someone to look, look up to, a great role model. My favorite memory with them is Rachel's Survivor-themed birthday party that Harris hosted. It was so much fun. My favorite thing that I love about Harris is that we have this total brother relationship where we can like lean on each other, ask each other questions, and always be there for each other. Um, for Rachel, it's holding me and Harris accountable. Favorite memory of Harris uh, would have to be him driving down to this Bosnian restaurant in Houston, Texas to see me and Blake. He probably drove down 10 to 12 times and we never drove up once. So, sorry Harris, uh, but Rachel, you're definitely blessed with somebody who gives a lot more in his relationships than he expects in return. Um, Harris, a couple of things I really admire about you is your inclusiveness and how intentional you are when it comes to Rachel as well as her friends. Um, you've always been one to reach out, extend the invite, make sure that everyone was um, surrounding you and Rachel and enjoying time together, whether that's at her birthday in Oklahoma or even whenever I'm back in Dallas just visiting for a few days. You know, there's there's never a missed opportunity to catch up and have a little family dinner over at your place. The first time I met him at Alex Leatherman, Alex Frost's wedding, he just tore up the dance floor. He was a ton of fun. My favorite memory of Rachel was probably one of our first nights of college and I had never had a sip of alcohol before. We were in VR and they took us out to a house party and I got drunk on wine and I tried to use Rachel as a stripper pole and that and she didn't care and so that's when I knew that we were going to be friends forever. B 
being her helper at her wedding shower. That's your favorite memory? Yes. Rachel, I love your enthusiasm, your energy, and your positive outlook on life. Um, even going back to college, those nights that we were practicing for VR till late in the night or pumping till 2 a.m., you know, I knew that no matter what I was doing, if I was with you, that we were going to have a good time. Um, I think that your positive energy and your, your charisma is just contagious, and I've just had the best time um, knowing you for the past handful of years. We went skiing in Keystone, and we were so excited about going skiing. We got into town, and we decided to do night skiing. So if anybody's ever went night skiing, it's super cold and the snow turns to ice. We're flying down the hill and guess who goes flying past us and wipes out Rachel. Epic. I just remember she was the hype woman in college. She was the loudest person to cheer, um, get dressed up for any cap events. She just hyped people up. Rachel has been, um, you know, a sister I've always wanted, so she's always there for me if I ever need anything, and um, she loves me like like a true sibling. Rachel, it's been great getting to know you over the years. You're amazing. Thank you so much for stepping up to the plate and taking care of Harris's high maintenance needs. You're an angel. And yes, I am officially part of the Gnome bandwagon. So this is my favorite question. I just love this power duo so much. I love that they're so worldly and adventurous. Because of this, they are so kind and so accepting of others, especially those that are not like them. Um, they are career-minded, but never forget to have fun. Favorite memory of Harris and Rachel is probably living with them back right when I graduated college. It was lots of fun, we got close. Somehow they managed to be the funnest couple in the room while also being the most dependable, uh, which is not something that you come across often. I really think that they complement each other as a couple and they bring out the best in one another. I am so excited that this weekend is finally here. I cannot wait to be a part of your big day and to celebrate you guys. And I just love both of them so much and I'm so happy for them and excited to celebrate. Harris Rachel from Meatballs to Murder Mysteries, you guys are always lifting my spirits. I look forward to this continued friendship and to Harris's more than borderline inappropriate comments. Much love to the two of you. Um, I would say my favorite memory was spending 4th of July with you both a couple of years ago. Um, you guys came over to my house in Dallas and the day started out pretty normal. We were in the pool, having some beers, everything was relaxed. And then quickly it turned into quite the party. Um, the girls and guys each took turns making rounds of shots, picking a song, and then doing a walk out into the backyard. So. Easy to say, we, we got pretty hammered kind of quickly, um, which was a lot of fun. And then after that, we went to the golf course to watch the actual fireworks show. On the way back, Harris ripped up a couple of the, the flags that were put in the, in the grass, and he was directing traffic in my hometown with these two flags, and it was hilarious, and nobody knew what to do with him, but um, that was a really fun memory with you both. My favorite memory of Harris and Rachel is from two and a half years ago at our wedding where they stole the show and caught both the garter and the bouquet, proving even back then that they were meant to be together. Love you guys. Super happy for y'all both and uh, let's celebrate. We love, love you, you Rachel, Rachel and Harris. Harris. Kiss, kiss, kiss. <laughs>